What time is it? Oh, for crying out loud, I, w- I hadn't even slid in here yet. Jeez. And, okay, fine. Um, it's um, 2.30 a.m., roughly, give or take, on Sunday morning. By the way, one of you is still off pitch. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Yeah, okay. Thanks, Ava. Uh, so, <laughs> this um, <clears throat> this one might be a little bit longer because um, it's going to be just kind of nonstop stories. I hope that's okay, you know. Um, and again, I wasn't planning on shooting a video today, but, you know, um, here's the thing, you guys. We're just excuse me, we're just in a holding pattern right now, right? We're waiting for my results to come back from surgery, whether I'm stage one or stage four, right? So, uh, uh, so we're just killing time right now, right? Um, so anyway, um, yeah, I've got, I've got a bunch of stuff for you guys today. Um, oh, by the way, I was out on, out on the deck again and, uh, it's quiet. It's 2 a.m., right? And I, I hear this... <laughs> like next to my deck. And so I, I go over there and I lean over the railing. And it's dark, so I couldn't really see whatever it was. But I've, I've got a bale of hay and I've got a couple five-gallon buckets out there. Well, this thing was like nestled in there. It was, it was big. It was like big. I, I'm not kidding. It wasn't a squirrel, and it, we don't have groundhogs around here. Um, what else could it have been? Like it was a. It's not a beaver, and I couldn't see its head because it was like tucked in there. But it was like. <laughs> so I went out there like a few minutes later, and now it's on the other side of the deck. <laughs> So if you have ideas, like, <laughs> no, I'm not going to go get my firearm. You know, it's like, let the, he's just looking for a place to live, but I want to know what it is. Right. So <laughs> I don't know you guys. Um, do you guys like the, the intros, you know, the sponsors? Um, we kind of have to do the sponsor thing because, you know, we need the financial support from our sponsors, right? So we kind of have to, no, you know, it kind of bugs me when YouTubers say that, you know, it doesn't, it, this doesn't cost me anything, right? So, <laughs> well, yeah, a microphone and a webcam and you've got yourself a YouTube channel, right? So I don't know if, <laughs> do you guys like them? Are they funny or are they just a waste of time? I don't know. Let me, let me know. Let's do it anyway. Well, yeah. Okay. All right. Let's do it. <laughs> this episode of The Mad Camper has been sponsored by Payless Shoes. We support you. not laugh at the misfortune of others <laughs> um okay so i i take breaks in between you guys and so i went back out there the thing is gone now i don't know where he went um we'll we'll name him bandit <laughs> a raccoon i mean that's the only other thing right we did. We did have a black bear like down the street uh just down the block here. He was up in a tree and they I think they came and did the tranquilizer dart thing and they you know, he fell out of the tree and they took him away, but yeah, a black bear on my block, right? Uh, so <laughs> by the way, um the previous video, I talked about my company, uh Northland Computer Services Incorporated. It was an S Corp. Um and uh, it, it wasn't bragging, you guys, you know, the cars. It, it just, I found that photo. But what I wanted to say is my house, 1958 Rambler, three bedroom, you know, single guy. What do I need three bedrooms for? Well, I have two bedrooms full of hobbies. One of you asked about my hobbies. We'll, we'll get into that later. But 
yeah, very, it was pre-foreclosure, all right? So it was like beat up, and so I've done some work on it and stuff, but I got a really good, a really good deal on it. One car garage. So my house is not fancy, you guys. Um, I work for the government, okay? <laughs> I'm public sector. So if you think I've got a lot of money, I've got a lot of stuff. But, you know, and by the way, the big um, stage, uh, it's called a bass bin. You know, us sound guys, we call them a bass bin, a subwoofer, a stage subwoofer. A band gave me that, okay? And I, I got my bass guitar at a pawn shop. So, <laughs> so yeah, anyway, just wanted to clarify again. <laughs> all right, a couple of housekeeping things, all right? Um, <laughs> first and foremost... Uh, I think I think that's all I have. <laughs> I got a comment from Michelle. Remember Nurse Michelle? <laughs> she says, I love this. You have such a positive, fun attitude, and sharing your experience with others is so helpful. So glad you had a good experience at the U of M. Nurse Michelle. Oh. Um, and then I replied, Michelle? Like, the Michelle? <laughs> LOL, thanks for the great comment, and I hope I communicated how much I appreciated all of you, especially you. Yeah, the day did not go as expected in a very good way, right? Thanks for laughs, and thanks for the cameo appearance on this channel. <laughs> I'll let you know when your compensation comes in from YouTube. <laughs> thanks again, Michelle. You're doing awesome work. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I don't have a crush on Michelle, okay? You know, she's married with kids, you know? Um, we, we talked about your kids, right, Michelle? I think we did. But anyway, so <laughs> I thought that was funny. Thanks, Michelle. <laughs> okay, I just thought of a <laughs> another story about my house. So when I bought this place, I don't know, what, seven, eight years ago, I installed a brand new, nice Bosch dishwasher, right, stainless steel. Uh, but I had to take one of the cabinets out. And luckily, it fit, you know, perfect in there, except... There was a bottom shelf, three quarter inch plywood, and I had to cut that bottom shelf out and I had to get really close to the sides of the cabinet. So I, <laughs> I put this on Facebook and people are like, no, 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 don't. And so what I did, I went downstairs and I got a big circular saw blade off my table saw, right? And I mounted it on one of my big drills, you know, <laughs> and I took a photo of it. You know, you guys, I have to get really, I have to cut really close to the edge of the cabinet. So would this work? <laughs> and I, I called it the auto limb detacher or dismemberer or something. <laughs> People are like, no, no, don't, no, don't. I'm like, I know. <laughs> and so I get the thing installed, right? Did it myself, you know, the electrical, the plumbing, all that, you know, it's fine. It was fine. So I stuck some stuff in there and got it started and I went and did something else, uh, putzing around with something else. And so I came back like a half an hour later and it's like, well, shoot, it's not running. So I opened the door and I got sprayed in the face. <laughs> it was running. It's that quiet. Those Bosch dishwashers are like super quiet. So it's like, yeah, it was running, but I couldn't hear it. So... <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, you guys can tell when I take a break because the fire will be low and then I'll come back and it'll be big again. <laughs> all right. Now, um, I promised you guys that we would talk about this. All right. So, <laughs> okay. There's a couple of things going on here. Um, so, you know, I grew up on the east side of St. Paul, right? And uh, I was such a weird little dude, you guys. I have so many funny stories about all the weird stuff I used to do with my friends and whatnot. But, you know, we were kind of, you know, lower middle class, you know, kind of dad was getting started as a mechanical engineer at Whirlpool on Arcade Street. But anyway, a couple of things. So, yeah, we, <laughs> we, we couldn't afford actual Adidas. You know, they have the three stripes. And so <laughs> these shoes are from Sears or something, you know, so... <laughs> And the tires are way too small, but it worked, you know. Dad bought this thing at a garage sale for like 30 bucks, you know. And <laughs> I just had a blast with that thing. But um, so we used to take it, 
up to Grandma and Grandpa's farm. Cousins, right? If you're watching, right? In Hinkley, um, remember I talked about Toby's, you know, uh, the restaurant up in Hinkley, halfway between here and Duluth? And uh, so we would stick this thing in the back of our station wagon. It was a 1969 Chevy Kingswood Estate station wagon. And it had that weird back seat at the very end by the tailgate. It would fold up and you'd be facing backwards. So when the car was full of kids, you know, cousins or whatever, three of us were back there like looking out the back, you know. It was a little disorienting, but, you know, we could see where we've been, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so we would stick this mini bike in the back of the uh, station wagon and we would haul that thing up to the farm. Rural, right? Just all gravel roads and stuff. So I rode that thing all over the place and just had a blast. I was out in a field one day and uh, I was wearing jeans and rode around like this tall grass. I was just buzzing around. I came back to the farmhouse and I'm feeling like my legs felt weird, you know? So I pull up my pants and I counted 32 wood ticks. <laughs> They weren't, there was maybe two of them that were stuck, but the rest of them, I just, I'm like, holy, what the, what the, so I got all those off. But anyway, so I'll never forget it. I was on, I was on this thing up at the farm, uh, gravel roads, right? I'll never forget it. I'm like, you guys, I'm going to ride into town, which was maybe, I don't know, two or three miles. So I'm on this, I'm on this tiny little thing. And the wind was blowing through my flaming long red hair, right? And just independence. I'm actually doing this. I, I've seen motorcycles and, okay, this is what it feels like. This is awesome. I hope it doesn't, like, break down, like, halfway. But I rode into town and I didn't, I didn't buy anything. I just turned around and came back to the farm. But it's like... That's really cool. I might, I might get a motorcycle someday. So, <laughs> so yeah, I've had like eight motorcycles, you know, one after another. But anyway, so <laughs> I was such a weird little dude. It was, it's just funny. Um, Aspen, Colorado T-shirt. I've got one of one of my viewers is uh, from Colorado. So yeah, we took a trip out to Aspen, Snowmass. Stayed with an uncle out there, but love the cutoffs. Uh, uh, you know, maybe a little Tropicana oil here, dude, like pasty white. Like, <laughs> Okay, enough of that. Oh, oh, here's the funny story. Do you guys know what whiskey throttle is? Um, it's when someone who's not used to a motorcycle, they jump on, which they shouldn't. And the throttle, when you when you give it throttle, it takes off, right? Now, your natural impulse is to hang on and you give it more throttle and you end up like, and there's all kinds of really funny YouTube videos of people like going into a shed or going into bushes or whatever. It's, but yeah, whiskey throttle. So my mom, pretty, pretty stoic, right? Housewife. If I can, I can use that term, right? That's not offensive. Um, domestic coordinator. All right. But she was kind of a, a more serious person, and she's like, and, and a bunch of us are standing around, Mom, get get on it, get on it. Mom, you know you want to, right? And so she's like, mm, okay. So she gets on this thing, and the farm had like a long driveway, and uh, so she was going she was gonna go down the driveway. <laughs> she gave it the whiskey throttle. The thing took off, and there was a plowed field right next to the driveway you know, a plowed field like this. And she totally lost control. <laughs> One of my funniest memories, my mom <laughs> going over the, over the plowed field. Ah, and we're all laughing. Like, <laughs> I think she finally fell off or something, but we're just all laughing. <laughs> I, I had like three other things I wanted to, <laughs> three other funny stories. I think I'm going to cut this one off, off here. It's getting a little bit too long. But anyway, um, I'll, I might shoot another video. It's, it's quarter to seven now on Sunday.
the sun the sun is starting to come up but uh yeah thanks you guys <laughs> i have a lot more stories i might shoot another video this afternoon if i have time after doing my dish <laughs> so thanks i'll talk to you later bye he's still a weird little dude hey Okay, <clears throat> do over. <laughs> so wait, no, I have to. I have to be holding this first. <laughs> do over. <laughs> Couldn't exist without you know, with a lot of without some finance without some deck. It's a buddy bunk. <laughs> <laughs>